Out of all the data that's out there in cyberspace, 90% of it has been created in the last two years. Just mining hordes and hordes of data is pretty daunting to today's execs. So a lot of the clients that I talk to say to me, you know what, we've got years and years of data, but we have no insight. All these companies are trying to reach the human being. And the only way to know who your customer is, is to start looking at some of the behaviors or those breadcrumbs that they're leaving behind. If you look at a grocery store, you have limited shelf space. So you have to make decisions all the time of what products to put on your shelf. And this one grocery chain said, hmm, let's look at all of the slow moving products, the ones that people buy maybe once or twice every two to three years. One of those happened to be cream of tartar. So they removed it from the shelf. Well, what that did was it absolutely ticked off a lot of bakers because they said, if this store doesn't have cream of tartar, they must not be serving the baker. So it absolutely had this ripple effect of turning off a lot of their consumers. So this notion of knowing who your customer is and who you're trying to reach, the products on your shelf absolutely matter. One of the examples that I love to talk about is an insurance company in South Africa and how analytics help them be more effective in determining which of their accidents were fraudulent. Most accidents happen around 10 a.m. in the morning. And those accidents that happened between 10 p.m. and 5 a.m., those were the ones that were suspect. So if you could take a look at all of the claims that they have, you can actually help them determine if there's something fraudulent going on. This insurance company in South Africa saved $2.3 million in the first four months after looking at analytics and determining which ones of these were fraudulent. There's a ton of hidden connections that analytics helps our clients discover. One, for example, is around how things like the weather can affect sales of products. Who would have thought that when it rains, the sales of things like cake go up? And when it's sunny, who would have thought that paninis would be on the increase, right? So imagine a bakery who could say, hmm, I'm gonna actually bake only the amount of bread that we need for today because of the weather, because of what's happening with the sporting event nearby, because of what's going on in my local community. One great example is the baker that actually looked at the weather and was able to forecast what was hot and what was gonna move that day. It actually increased their profitability by 20%. Every client that we talk to has the same question. Who's my customer? And what do I know about them? How do they behave? How do they respond? what matters to them. So whether it's a retailer trying to reach a consumer, or an insurance agent trying to reach the, the insured, or maybe a healthcare provider trying to reach the patient, they're all trying to do the same thing, which is provide better service. If you're gonna provide better service, you better know who they are.